Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to install Kali Linux in our local system using VirtualBox. Now a VirtualBox is a cross-platform visualization software. It allows users to extend their existing computer to run multiple operating systems including Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Oracle at the same time. So let's start with our installation. Now to install the Kali Linux, First, go to their website kali.org. Here, click on the download option. And then you have to choose your platform. And as we're running it as virtual machine, so select virtual machine. And here you can select between 64 and 32 bit operating system, depending on your machine specifications. And let's select virtual box as we're running it on virtual box. So now you can download it through torrent or you can directly download it from the browser, it's up to you. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. So let's directly go to the setup and here you can see I have two files. Both are used to set up the Kali Linux in our virtual box. So now let's add the Kali into our virtual box. Click on the plus sign, go to the directory where you store the files. And here, select the VBOX file and click OK. Now, Kali Virtual Machine is added to our virtual box and you can see all the details on the right side. Before we start our machine, let's quickly check the settings. So click on the settings option and here you can see all the default settings for this operating system. Now you can also change the settings according to your need. Let's say if you want to change the system settings, like default memory, it allocates 2GB, but I would suggest if you have machine with 16GB of RAM, then you can go with 2GB of memory for Kali Linux. But if you have 8GB of RAM, then I suggest you go with 1GB here. Similarly, if your machine having 8 CPUs, then you can allocate 2 CPUs to Kali. But right now, my machine is running on 4 CPUs, so I'm not gonna give half of them to Kali. It will affect the overall performance of my PC. So I'm gonna go with one CPU here. So now let's go to the network and here in adapter one settings, select the NAT network and then you can choose the default NAT network here and click OK. Now let's start the Kali Linux by pressing start and it will take some time to boot. Okay, so now it's ready and we're gonna have to provide the username and password for our machine. And the default username uh, for Kali is Kali and the password will also be Kali. Click login and it will be done. We have successfully completed our Kali Linux setup on VirtualBox. That is it for this video. I hope you like this tutorial on setting up Kali Linux using VirtualBox in your local system. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.